Welcome to another episode of A Different Perspective Podcast, man. You know, if, if they not solid, they not sitting in this chair. Nah, shit. You know man. what I'm saying? We not just bringing anybody up here, man. You know what I'm saying? We bringing the ones that actually are influential. You know what I'm saying? They got a voice. They can actually speak some life into these youngsters, man. So with that being said, my guest today, man, if you in Houston or surrounding areas and you don't know who Strict Grind Wi-Fi is, you late. You know what I'm saying? Too late. Been putting it down with the music. You know what I'm saying? Been certified in the streets as far as getting to the bread. You know what I'm saying? And always had a reputation of being solid, man. You know, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce y'all to my guest of the night, man. Mr. Strict Grind, Wi-Fi. Trap God. What it do? What's the word, man? Appreciate you for having me up here, bro. Man, I appreciate you for coming, man. What's going down, though? Man, I'm blessed. I can't complain. Yeah, man. You know we've been trying to make this happen for a minute. You know what I'm nah, saying? But, shit show. but it's it, it's God's time. Oh God, it's perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's ain't better late than never. God damn it. Yeah, you ain't never lying, man. So, uh, man, you know a lot of people. A lot of people know you from just mm-hmm. being out here. Nah, but shit But show. they don't really know the story. Nah, they don't man. know at 13 you've been. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, You've been yeah. dibbling and dabbling, been out here. Man, you know what I'm saying? I had to. Oh God. So, so, so let's give it to them, man. So they can really, you know, see me. My position when I started this podcast was this: mm-hmm. it's a lot of good brothers out here, man. A oh, lot shit, of good, yeah. solid dudes. Yeah, you know, some of us had to deal with whatever circumstances we was dealt in life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that don't mean that we bad people. Hell and nah. a lot of us, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though we used to do behave a certain way in the past, that's not who we are now. And I want to shed light on that. You know what I'm saying? They think that every nigga that rap is a bad person. Every nigga that that, that hustle is a bad person. And that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Nah, see, I ain't even gonna lie. The way I believe that shit, bro, is like, it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the whole, they doing it and they just doing it on a bigger scale. Yeah. Like, I seen, uh, I think it was Dick Gregory, he said some shit, he was like, just because it's legal don't mean that because slavery was legal. And that yeah. shit was wrong, fam. We know that shit was wrong. Yeah. But it was legal to have slaves. Yeah. So just because they put like, bro. Stipulations on stipulations it. Stipulations on it doesn't mean you wrong, bro. Yeah. They doing the same thing to feed their family. Like, bro, if you really think about it, it, if they don't, it's about you get if you got money, bro. Yeah. Or you, you evade, is. Tax evasion. They hitting you about the money. Money. Yeah. They don't. They don't want you to feed your family. They don't want you to weed until they could really figure out how to get some money off of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's they, illegal. I, man, feed your family, fam. That's yeah. how I feel. You feel what I'm saying? If you get tired of bumping your head with trying to feed your family this way, and you choose to feed your family that way. That's cool, yeah. but feed your family, bro. And it can't now, nigga, tell you you wrong for what choices you making to feed your family. Yeah. If you choose to be the sacrificial lamb and choose to, hey, fuck it, I go rob this bank for three mil, and they gonna give me thirty years. But if yeah, I can get away with the thirty, the, 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 the three mil, nigga, I go do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You not wrong for that. Yeah. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nah, fuck them folks. You feel what I'm mean? saying? This is how I feel, bro. You feel me? Because they doing it. They doing it. All. Bro, did you see the shit when, um, when it was the Chase, J.P. Morgan, this, that nigga Bo got caught all that work on it? Like, come yeah. on, fam. You think yeah. he ain't got nothing to do? Come on, man. <laughs> It's on your boat, yeah. all of you. Yeah. But you playing. don't know nothing. Come on, yeah, man. man. They just, you know, as long as, as long as they can't tax it, that's when they have a problem with it. You exactly. know what I'm saying? As long as they was able, now that they able to tax the weed, yeah, go to the dispensary. Y'all can get all the weed y'all want oh, as long as we can we get, get our cut. You know what I'm saying? Lord. Man, but uh, for those that don't know, man, where you from, man? Man, I'm from Trinity Guard, you know, Parker Squad. I was born in Havistock, though. Like, my family, though, my roots is Fifth Ward Trinity Guard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my uncles and aunties, they all was Trinity Guard, Fifth Ward. But you know, that shit is right across the tracks. Yeah. So, shit, that's where my roots is from. You know what I'm saying? But the I'm east on the east side, nigga, man. Shit, shit. All the way around that boy. Hell yeah. Man, so what what was it like growing up for Wi Fi, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, 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 what was young Wi Fi like? 
man, I ain't gonna lie, ambitious. I, I thought I can do whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, I was a kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I said in one of my songs, I was like, uh, like the streets made a man of me. To be honest, that shit wasn't even the plan for me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, if you ask me, nigga, I want to be a lawyer, police, I want to do shit. I, you know what I'm saying? You a kid, you I want to do everything. That yeah. shit to look cool. You niggas get to ride around with guns and shoot motherfuckers. <laughs> I want to do that. You know, they say Straight the lawyers up. get the money. Well, fuck it, I want to do, do that. that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But then, you know, we we play the hands we was dealt. You feel what I'm saying? Shit, nigga, my mama was a crackhead. My daddy was a crackhead. Shit, my sister sold crack. All my aunties and uncles smoke crack. So shit, probably go my environment. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't had nobody had no tuitions or no plan for me. Yeah. Shit, I wasn't even really supposed to be here. To be honest, like shit, nigga, my mama and my daddy. My daddy was married. I got two older brothers. You know what I'm saying? And the sister, R.I.P. My sister Tasha. Like shit, they were just fucking around and boom, there you go. There you come. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, they weren't even supposed to be doing it type shit, but shit, so they ain't like they had no motherfucking plan for me. So shit, you know, it is what it is. You know, I played the hand I was dealt. Man, uh, so so when when did how how was you in school? What type of student was you in school? I was a straight A student. Yeah. And then they wanted to send me to magnet schools and all type of shit. Yeah. Oh God. Like, but my aunt ain't raised me. See, like, my sister, I got an older sister that's 10 years older than me. Like, she raised a nigga. What she was really like, cause she she was hustling at 13. Yeah. My mama was, like I say, my mama was doing what she was doing type shit. So, you know, my sister was doing the best she could. But man, I don't know what the fuck happened, bro. Like, I know my sister got pregnant, you know what I'm saying? And my other, I got another sister that's a year older than me. My older sister, they got the same daddy. Yeah. So she went to go live with her daddy and his wife. And me, I went to go with my auntie, you know what I'm saying? Which was they auntie, but she took me in. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I guess my sister was like, shit, I can't do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have a baby, so shit, I need help. You know what I'm saying? So my sister was hustling and doing what she could to help my auntie raise me and shit like that. But like when I got with my auntie, like, I ain't gonna lie, that lady, nigga, she wasn't having it, bro. Like, yeah. all that, thank you finna do that project ass shit and nah, nigga, y'all ass ain't gonna be something, you in this house. Like, nigga, and she went, she was stiff on a nigga. Nigga, yeah. my first pro card, nigga, I never forget this shit, nigga. I come in at, I don't know no better, bro. I don't know what the fuck an elf or none of this shit is. You gotta think about it. My sister, 13, you feel what I'm saying? Well, at the time, she was like 16 because she had she got pregnant. So if she's 16, I'm like five, six years old. She's 10 years older than me. And but that's I, who's raising you at the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my mama there, but my mama, come yeah, on, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know how crack was crack yeah. back then, nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, nigga, you know how that shit go? My yeah. mama was in the streets, bro. So. Boom. What well, I'm saying? The F, about the F. Boom, yeah. So my nigga, I come in that motherfucker, bro. I got all Fs, bro. <laughs> like, man, listen, bro, I don't know nothing about this shit. I see 60s and 50s and shit. These are some big ass numbers to me, nigga. I can't even count to this shit, nigga. Yeah. Man, I walked in that motherfucking house and showed that lady that motherfucking report card. Yeah. She looking like, why the fuck is you smiling? <laughs> these you is think you're doing something. These is if she dumb motherfucker. She got no power for motherfucker. Man, she with my motherfucker and I ain't lying. Yeah. So boom, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, that shit changed. Yeah. From all Fs, all A's. Yeah. Like nigga, you ain't finna be stupid. You ain't finna be none of that shit. Like nigga, you can do it and you gonna do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then I had a cousin, well, her kids, they all older than me, you know what I'm saying? So they in middle school and shit. So these motherfuckers is smart because shit. She ain't who, playing that shit. She ain't playing that shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So that made me advance because I got motherfucking my cousin, he in middle school on his way to high school. Shit, my other cousin, like, they helping me, they teaching me and shit to shit. They learned to the, the, do this shit, cause we all went through the same school system. Nigga, I'm living here, I'm finna go to Johnson Elementary, fuck around and be an Escamilla, a hand breaking. It's the same school system, so they, man, that shit. 
Now I'm getting my ass whooped because this shit too easy and I want to be the class clown. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. Man, I say, like, you know what? I'ma just do right. You feel me? I just start doing right, bro. But like, I end up having to move back. Man, some shit happened. Boom. I remember uh, the flood. You remember the flood we had out here in 2001? Yeah. Boom. Shit happened. I remember us moving. I don't know what's going on. I just know she tell me, my auntie tell me. I, I done been with her six years. I'm like 12 for the go 13 type shit. Yeah. So, nigga, you got to go back home. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, I ain't trying to go back home. Yeah. Like, I, this is this is this home. Is home. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, shit. And boom, long story short, I ended up going back with my mama. And shit, that's low key when I got the thugging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We moved to North Barrow. Niggas out there gang banging and shit, breaking in cars and so shit. I'm in dozen in the same food. shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So that shit was all kind of crazy. So it, that's where it took a twist there right there when I went back home though. Because yeah. I went from having structure to nigga doing whatever you want. You can do whatever the fuck you want to, damn that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, my only thing, I ain't gonna lie, like, <coughs> my mama, she wasn't never, like, I ain't gonna sit here and say we ain't have hard times, but. Nigga, my mama was a hustler though. Yeah. So even though she did that, nigga, she gonna pop chicks. She gonna go in this bitch and boost. She gonna like Make she sure gonna you have what you get need. it yeah. on my mama. Like she gonna get it though. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna say it was just oh woo woo. But if that shit wasn't working, only thing was was nigga his bills paying his food in the house. All this extra shit, you know where this shit going? You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, that's all I need. Y'all got. Roof over y'all here. Yeah. Y'all ain't hungry. Shit is cool. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, shit, a nigga like, man, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> nigga, they got these new goddamn things. I want them too. What the fuck is you talking about? You talking about go get some fucking case with us? So nigga, I ain't trying to wear that shit. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Man. Bro, I, I remember them days. Oh, God. Wieners and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, fuck that <laughs> Duck shit. Duckhead and all that shit, man. A nigga ain't want that shit and everybody had polo. Oh, God. <laughs> so, look, at 13, man, like, what was it like jumping off the porch? Like, your first experience jumping off the porch, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you start hustling at 13? Yeah, I was, like, 13 for shit show. I Like, I remember, like, at first... My sister, I remember, she came to me again because boom, now I'm back with my mama. Yeah. We stand in these fucking duplexes on uh Cashman Party in Cashmere Garden. So, like, boom, I think my sister was on her third child. She was pregnant. And she was like, man, bro. She was still wound, you know, when she, because my sister, she been selling, hustling since she was 13. Yeah. So she ain't never stopped hustling, so she's still getting it in, you know what I'm saying? But she's a female, you know, yeah. she, she got kids and shit, so it ain't just woo. So she like, nigga, hey, bro, around this age is when I start hustling, like, you're going to have to do something. Yeah. Because, like, nigga... I can't do it no more. I'm finna have another baby, bro. Like, this mama job, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? All her extra shit. Woo woo. Like, so nigga, you gonna have to do something because I can't help no more like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, I'm like, shit, fuck it. So at first, I was already just like my partner, Lil Steve. I used to be going to his house and shit on the weekend. This nigga used to trap. So every night, though, when they go to sleep, he'll leave all the work on the plate. And be like, shit, nigga, you up playing a game, smoking weed all night, shit, just, ooh, ooh. Yeah. and I do that shit for him. And one day, though, my homegirl, she was like, well, his bitch at the time, she was like, man, bro, you steady. Like, you up in this motherfucker all night, just playing a game, smoking weed, selling all our dope. Fuck, you ain't selling no dope for yourself, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause it ain't like a nigga wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Cause a nigga give me a little something, but he like, she was like, nigga, you could be selling dope for your own motherfucking self, bro. Yeah. And I was like, you motherfucker, right? <laughs> I told my mom, I'm like, shit, I gotta uh 
we going on a field trip. I need some money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? The school, I was going to King Middle School. I'm like, shit, we need some money. Can you give me like $20? She was like, yeah. But man, fuck school. I got that $20. Went over there, Listina. Hey, man, you give me some for this. And they gave me my four rocks. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to wait till tonight. Yeah. Shit, tonight come. I'm going to slang these motherfuckers. I made my little $40 quick. Yeah. Boom. Start selling his shit. Now, when he wake up, I'm like, I right, can I get some for this? You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Shit, it went from now. It was like, shit, it wasn't no stopping now. Yeah. It was like, come on, nigga, I just got 20, first of all, $23 from my mama. Fuck around and made me by, by, the, by this weekend over with me, I got me like $200. Yeah. Man, you got like, it's on. Up. It's on, nigga. Hey, nigga, I ain't see We got to keep doing this. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't got to ask nobody for nothing no more. None. Never. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I am up there. My motherfucking Eddie that's telling you raise me, mother. Yeah. They come give me a I did her way. Out the boy. trap. Why? <laughs> Listen. Cause I my now like I say we stay in Cashmere, so we ain't in Parker Square no more. Yeah. And I wanna be in Parker Square though, cause shit, nigga, that's, that's where it's going. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So my auntie, I had an auntie that still stayed in the square. So I'm telling them. That's why I'm being on the uh, weekend. Yeah. But I'm not right over there. I'm at Titwell getting it in. Yeah. Man, I don't know what the fuck they couldn't, I don't know what they needed me for. They couldn't find my motherfucking ass. So they called my cousin Sharika. She used to cover for me though, but they ended up calling my her mama, my Aunt Maxine. And she like, man, that boy ain't been over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck y'all talking about? Man, they called around and found my ass. Boy, they came knock on that door and say, boy, yo, ain't it outside? <laughs> boy, gosh, you know, my motherfucking heart dropped, boy. On my mama, though, but the crazy thing is, she ain't even really trip. Well, now, nah, that time she got me up out that hole, but they ain't really know what I was doing then. They didn't yeah. know I was hustling. I was just like, man, I'm over here playing Pretty the game. game. My, you know what I'm saying? With my foot, cause, I had my nigga little David, little Richie, like these niggas in my age, these niggas is hustling, yeah. but these niggas is in my age, these are my friends, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, man, I just been over here playing the game. But like when she found that I was hustling, I thought she was gonna be on some shit like, nigga, I'm gonna kill your bitch ass type yeah. shit. Cause I, to this day, nigga, like, I don't like, I ain't really cussing in front of that lady, I ain't doing like- Just some respect, yeah. Yeah, like nigga, she nigga, Nigga, to this day, I feel I, I feel them ass whoopers, nigga. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm thinking she gonna really trip, but she ain't trip. She was like, but what she said was like, nigga, if you gonna be out here, we better not want for nothing. Hmm. Anytime I call you got that phone thing I need it, nigga, you better. I'm like, shit, bet. Yeah. You feel me? That's then? the commission yeah. I needed right there. Shit, nigga, let's go. You feel what I'm saying? And shit, I went out very since. Man. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, may not understand what we talking about because they ain't, they ain't lived that life, man. Nah, for shit, y'all. But, but being that young, man, and then having money when you want it, you know what I'm saying, at will. Mm -hmm. After a while, bro, it kind of get hard for a grown up to tell you anything. Nah, for shit, y'all. Like, RIP my Uncle Frank, me and my Uncle Frank, we got the same birthday. Like... That nigga made me laugh before he passed. We was all at the little family. I don't know what it was, but we was at a family gathering. He was like, nigga, I knew you weren't gonna never have no job. Cause boom, I get jammed up. Like I, I ended up getting jammed up when I was like 14. I've been going to jail for a minute, but I ain't gonna lie. So boom, I get jammed up when I'm like 14. So now you know you're on papers and shit. Nigga, you gotta go go to school, you gotta yeah. woo woo. So I'm trying to get this damn job because I don't wanna, I don't wanna Fucking hustle. Yeah. Man, bruh. I ain't the crazy thing, this nigga made me laugh so hard because I for, I ain't I forgot I even told my uncle that shit, bro. Yeah. Cause my other uncle, he got his own plumbing company. Now that's good money though on another topic. Yeah. Plumbing. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, I ain't no certified plumber and I'm a kid. Yeah. So imagine how he's cheating me and paying me. Yeah. Nigga, I Come from the fucking corner, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so boom, my uncle, like, I told that nigga, I was like, man, 
that shit ain't working, bro. I, after after this shit, bro, <laughs> after a week of work, like you give me $150, 200 like nigga, what I'm gonna buy a pair of shoes and that's it? Yeah. Like I can't get no fucking outfit. You gotta think about it back then, niggas is Coogee and Crown Holder and yeah, Maskeen yeah. and we wearing shit, nigga. We what the fuck is you talking the fuck? I, like, nigga, I make two hundred dollars like like nothing. Yeah. Man, I tried that shit. I, I'm like, man, fuck that shit. I ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I quit. I back to the corner I go. You know what I'm saying? That shit wasn't working. I ain't gonna lie. What was your first case? It's a dope case of delivery, bro. And it wasn't even me, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cause like my nigga Lil B, he had well, like when I got to the block, see, when we was trapping over there, that shit was simple. It was easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just rotation. Nigga, boom, boom, all dope things coming to you. That block life, totally different. Yeah. Nigga, you gotta watch who you serve, nigga. They jumping out every minute on the you minute. You gotta run to the car, you make sure run that to the yeah. car. Like, shit, the dope things are burning you. you yeah. Cause we moving fast, so they be like, "Hey, I got twenty. You give them twenty. That all the nigga, they yeah. fuck around just give you a five dollar bill or something. You Fold like, it up, yeah. Fold the sky. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? All type of shit. You yeah. Know what I'm so like my nigga Lil B, I always told me like, well, you don't know the folks, you don't serve the folks. Yeah. Simple as that. Man, I'm on the fucking block, bro. This nigga name, what the fuck, Paco? This nigga." Boom, I get out there. I'm like, man, it's early. I'm the only nigga on the corner at the time. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm finna bleed this hoe, bro. So my brother-in-law, he he from Hardy. Like, this nigga, I got some whoop, but this nigga only sell drop. Yeah. So I had got some issue from him, and I had the shit I already had, so I had two batches. So boom, this nigga Paco come. He like, bitch, sell me some work. I got a lick. I'm like, hell no, nah, why ain't selling you shit, boy? Yeah. You ain't got no work on the only one with the work on his all the legs. Yeah. Stay like that. So, man, just shooting the shit with him, but I'm thinking, I'm like, fuck it. I don't know, like he got his own lick. Yeah. I'm finna I sell him this whoop and go get some more. My brother law, cause I my brother, I had rolled up to the block with my brother law, cause he was going over there to get his hair braided by my mama. Yeah. So boom. Nigga, I get, I'm like, fuck it, I'ma sell him this bullshit and just go get some more motherfucking good work from my brother in law while he right here. And then I ain't selling no more. I'ma just sit out here and bleed all this shit. Yeah. Man, I saw that nigga to work his bitch ass when it served the fucking police, bro. And boom, nigga, I I don't even know because I get him to work and yeah. I burn off to the back to go with my mama and them at. Yeah. Get me some more work, chop it up with them for a little bit, go back to the front, of, I mean to the uh, gate. My homegirl Tiffany out there about at this time. So boom. Man, we sitting out smoking. We see the motherfucking log coming up the street called Dooster. Yeah. But it ain't, I don't give a fuck. I ain't did shit. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? I just got out here. Yeah. Fuck them, man. She, my homegirl said it too. She say, bitch, you better run. But in my mind, I said, run for, for what? what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? So she like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't did nothing. You ain't did nothing. Man, this nigga pull up, park by the gate, hop by. I ain't tripping. My mama in the apartment. If you ask me why I ain't in school, I ain't gonna fuck about none of that shit. Yeah. Man, I never forget this shit, bro. I had on a fucking you remember Outcast had just dropped their uh little clothing yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got on the like, outcast. <laughs> man, shit, bro. man, this nigga, man, this nigga come, we standing there. This nigga walk up. He asks us where our apartment at. Yeah. Yeah, think about it, nigga. This is our apartment though. Every fucking apartment that around is though. Yeah. I tell a nigga, I'm like, shit, that motherfucker over there, nigga, grab my hand and boom, boom, boom. Like, man, what the fuck you doing? I ain't did nothing, bro. I ain't did nothing. So they put me in the car. Boom, tried down a motherfucking street. I'm like, man, Tiffany, go get my mama. You know what I'm saying? She had, uh, I forgot the lady, man. She was at somebody high to break my bro hair. So I'm like, man, go get my mama. Boom, he drive off. Like, you ain't going to get nobody. Mm-hmm. Boom, he take up the, off the street and then park. So now I'm paranoid. I'm like, what the fuck? They finna beat my ass or something? What the fuck going on? Man, I see the brown. In our hood, the brown van, that's the jump out boys. Yeah, yeah. 
And I see the brown van pull up. I'm like, man, what the fuck going on, dog? Big bald head nigga hop out. That's the bitch ass nigga, fool. So I'm sitting there. He called, because I'm a juvenile. Yeah. He called him. He was like, boom, I gave him my name and all that. I'm still saying, man, why we can't go get my mama, bro? Yeah. Y'all tripping. So the nigga like, uh, he caught, get on the phone with Juvenile, give him my name and shit, what y'all got him for? They like, we he ain't never been in no trouble. We just got him for like truancy, like he ain't going to school and shit. Well, they was like, well, he's on his way for a delivery. Man, I get to going crazy. And yeah. like, man, hell no, nah, y'all lying. I ain't deliver shit. <laughs> I ain't did shit, man. I ain't did nothing, man. Yeah. What the fuck y'all got going on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I don't know. I still don't know. Like, you a juvenile, so when I got down there, shit, the next day my mama came and got me until we had to go to court. Yeah. Man, when I get to court, bro, this lady read the fucking everything off to me, bro. She like, yeah, boom, you bunt shit on the thing. The uh, the nigga. The Paco. Paco. Boom. Cause he an adult, so he didn't went to the county. But they tell me everything we did. They like shit. This nigga, uh, cause they was watching him. He ain't, he ain't like he ratted on me or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were watching him because we from from I'm from Parker and Shady Lane. Shady Lane dead end on Turner House. Yeah. So niggas hustle from Parker Square all the way to Turner House, Titwell and Jensen. So boom, he was down there. He brought, they was doing a sting down there. He brought the fucking laws down there, down there because he tell them, the, the nigga, hold on. He getting the call to the police and everything. Take me down here to go get it. Mm. So they take him down here to go get it. Now they setting up the shop on, on us. Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy, bro. They ain't let it read that shit out to me. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I can't do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> my bitch ass caught like a motherfucker. Dog. I had to, but they didn't do nothing but give me some probation for that shit. Yeah. Because that's juvenile shit. Man, you know how that shit go. You got out the same day? Hell yeah, I got out the same day. Boom. When I went to court, they gave me the probation and shit. Then I'm back on the corner. The same day? Hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Out the fuck it. When, when, when was your first time you, you went to like uh, adult jail? Uh, when I was 17, bro, I came home from TYC because I had did a year in TYC. Yeah. I came home from TYC. I stayed. Bro, I went, I like, bro, <laughs> I went fucking amazing, crazy, bro. I went even out like a few months, bro. Yeah. And get wild, bro. Like, fuck. So, boom. Nigga, me and this nigga named Lil Richard, bro. I'm in this motherfucker, bro, thinking I can... I ain't it ain't the same. Like nigga, I've been gone a whole fucking year. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So me smoking this weed and shit, nigga, I'm getting sleep. Nigga, then we going to get this drove from this nigga. This nigga had hundred dollar sales back then. Yeah. Like we a call up and be smoking on that shit. So I'm slumped. My partner, I mean, this nigga was going half on the car. We was buying it. This whole ass nigga leave me in the car with my other partner, and he burned out to go do whatever the fuck he went to do. But me. They wake me up when they wake me. Well, he, my other partner, wake me up. He like, bitch, I'm gonna go to the house. Yeah. I'm like, fuck it, I'm finna sit on the block. Then I'm like, well, Richie, he like, shit, I don't know. So I'm like, fuck it, call this nigga, he ain't answer. But I'm like, fuck it, I'm finna thug it out all night. Yeah. Man, that shit wasn't working. I'm sitting there falling asleep on that motherfucking block. I'm like, man, fuck this shit, I'm finna go home. Man, go try to find this nigga. Long story short, nigga, my mama stayed in Gulf Coast. So, boom, nigga, I get to find him, get the car. Nigga, when I get, like, if you know, in from Trinity Garden, you know, like, boom, I'm, if you go up straight up, uh, what the fuck is that, Hirsch? Or, yeah, that's Hirsch, if I ain't mistaken. What the fuck is that? Yeah, if I ain't mistaken, that's Hirsch. Boom, the train track right there. Yeah. Man, the fucking train was on the track. And I didn't want to go under the underpath. If you coming from 59, you can go over and go under the underpath and get the uh, Gulf Coast. But the fucking laws be under there. It's 2, 3 in the morning. I'm not trying to go under that motherfucker. So I go the Hearst way. Go up Bennington and boom. Get stuck at the fucking train track and fall asleep. The fucking laws waking nigga up with pistols and shit. I got this fucking crack over here, dog.
I ain't even been home three, four months, bro. Yeah, like, man. what the fuck, bro? I'm back in this. Then I should have fucking lied and told him I had just turned 17. I should have lied and told him I was 16. Then they would have sent me to the motherfucking juvenile. And when they found out I was real, my real age, they would have still kept me because I was on TYC parole. Yeah. But by them, me telling them I was 17, them hoes shipped me to the county. And it dropped the TYC shit because now I'm an adult and I'm facing this fucking felony. Yeah. But I end up signing for five year probation. Fuck that shit out. <laughs> Man, just fucking up, bro. I ain't lying. Bro, that I remember when I when I had caught my case, man, them folks, they was like at 60 for a while, man. Oh, yeah. Fuck? Bro, I had a bunch of robberies. Oh, them hoes was at 60 for a while, bro. I'm sitting up, man. The DA told me, man, the next time we come to court, if you don't take this motherfucker, man, we going to trial. You know what I'm saying? I'm young. I don't understand what really trial is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But going back, them niggas like, youngster, don't take that shit to trial, trial man. If you know they got some shit on you, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up, the, the lady came back, showed me love, and gave me probation, bro. You know we Off of 60. Nigga, I fucked it up in three months. You know it? Come on, stop playing. We gonna fuck that <laughs> But bro, in my mind, I, I had I, I, I could do I, I could do that shit, dog. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, I just knew when I came home, fuck this shit, dog. I can do this shit. Hell no. Nah, nah, bro. <laughs> you stay in the scene, I help find still doing it. Man, <laughs> bro, look, I'm say I had a I had a case like yours. I'm gonna tell you, this this one set me up. I'm fresh out. I got my nigga from the south. This nigga here giving it to me. You know what I'm saying? Some drop. Oh God! I'm off of uh 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 off of and and and, and uh uh what's that uh Farm Park yeah. all over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Wolf Club Creek. Yeah, I'm on the okay, west. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out there, man. I'm I, I had a job at Bennigan's. I said I'm gonna do the right shit, man. I'm yeah. gonna give me a job at Bennigan's, bro. I'm 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 doing my my shit at Bennigan's, man. But I ain't you know I ain't had no car at the time. So on my way home, I gotta pass up the block. Mm -hmm. And I see everybody, bro. All them niggas I was out there with, they laughing at me, man. You ain't gonna bring me nothing to eat, all this shit. So I went and got me a little pack. I said, fuck it, I'ma just do this on the side. I had a I had I had like a zip. One of the niggas I knew came to me, man. Nigga said, hey, you got a you got a quarter? I'm like, you now nah, I ain't got shit, nigga. I ain't oh, got God. nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I went, cashed my check. Cause I got paid that day. Yeah. I cashed my check. I was walking back to the house. I seen the nigga again. I said, man, fuck it. I'm finna get this 125. I, 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 <laughs> I told that nigga, it's a little hole in the gate. I told that nigga, stay right here. I'll be right back. Go through the hole in the gate, book it to the house. Go get the quota. I'll come back, serve him. Now he done left. You know what I'm saying? He done left. This nigga done left and everything, bro. I'm sitting out there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling. I see one of my partners, you remember the, 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 the Lumina back in the game? The Lumina yeah. used to be live. This nigga coming down the street flying in the Lumina. My so I'm thinking that's like that. my partner. I jump out there, flag him down. Hey, take me to the store. It ain't my partner though. Undo. Undo. Them hoes jumped out. I'm like, you, I ain't finna run. I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't did shit. They come snatch me up. Now, I, at first, I wasn't going to run. When I seen them, I started trying to run. You know what I'm saying? I try, Usually, the motherfucking gate be open. You know how niggas put the stick in the gate? Niggas always have the stick in the gate. Man, the Man I get to that motherfucker, bro, that motherfucker closed. They slam me, bro. So they start checking me. Remember, I just got paid. So I had money on me. They running through the money. The, the, the money the nigga had just gave me, I put the shit in my sock. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But I still had my check money in my pocket, so they running through the money. It ain't here. I'm like, man, what the fuck? They like, yeah, the law man, the, the, the white boy, he all right, man, you good, man. You know my bad, man. We, we thought you was somebody else. All right, man, that nigga get ready. Take me out the handcuff. The white chick come over there, the white law lady. She say, check his shoe. Bitch. Man, they told me kick my shoe off or kick my shoe off. $120, $25 come out, right? That nigga looked up. We got it. I said, oh, All right, bro, they take me back the whole time. The nigga that I had served to work to, 
He was a, he he was a, a an informant, man. They took me behind up. Uh, Southwest uh, Mall. Uh, they took me behind man. Southwest Mall, man. Yeah, man, this nigga had been jamming other niggas up, bro. That's how that's how I ended up going to the penitentiary, man, behind that nigga. And he was already on uh papers. Bro, but I swear to God, Wi-Fi, I man. knew I could do it. When they when they told me I got 10 years pro probation, oh yeah, I'm finna walk this shit down. I'm finna get right. I'm finna Man, I'm man that shit don't it, bro. Nah. Hell nah, bro, because you ain't, ain't, nigga ain't lying used to myself, that type man. of shit, bro. Like, man, nigga, you see this bad shit. Bro, at 17, though, man, how was it like going to jail for the first time? I ain't gonna lie, bro. At first, nigga, like I said, I went in that bitch, bro. I got really right out that bitch, because, you know, boom, I stayed in that bitch. You know, you hear all those stories about the kind and the woo-woo, yeah. woo, you get to the floor, the youngster taking all that shit. But nigga, I went to court like that next day type shit. They like shit, nigga, you can get probation. I get out tonight. <laughs> shit, nigga, come on. You lucky, nigga. Nigga, let's go. Got my ass right out that hole. But when I fucked up, though, I had to sit in that hole. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, I wasn't the kind of, I wasn't really worried about no kind of, because you and that bitch with it. Like, nigga, I've been going to jail, like I say, shit, from the TYCs to woo woo. Then back then, they put you on the youngster tank, so you yeah. was motherfucking down there all your age and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers, you know, and shit like that. But, like, they told I had to go to the pen because they gave me the whole five yeah. that I had on uh, probation. So, at first, I was kind of scared, like, shit. I ain't like all my partners and shit ain't going to state jail and shit. Yeah. I ain't heard about nobody going to no fucking pen. I'm yeah. like, all that nigga don't play go to the fucking pen, I think. Shit. Yeah. Them hoes something in it, ho, and I'm thinking like, man, I ain't finna know nobody, but man, that shit, bro, that shit is you, man, you probably you bet yeah. so nigga, I'm going through transportation, he and they do, what's up, nigga? Yeah. Man, let's go, what's up, man? <laughs> Yeah, where you going? They ain't shipping me. Oh, they be live over there by the cave, over there. Yeah. So, man, you know how that shit goes. So it's like, shit, nigga. You, it's like, oh, man, that shit ain't nothing, man. Yeah. Nigga, this is going to school, nigga. It's like when you go to school and you the new nigga for the first time, you kind of yeah. like, I don't know nobody in there. But, nigga, I'm me. Yeah. Shit, nigga, you get the woo woo the same shit, you feel what I'm saying? So, shit, a nigga did that shit, rolled that shit out, and came, came on home. Man, look, I got. I, I want to touch on this, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you got kids, mm -hmm. right? So, being that, you, w did you and your old man have a a, a strong relationship? Hell no. Nah. How 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 you feel like that that affected you a lot growing up, man? Because see, look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, I ain't grow up with my mama or my daddy, Damn. and for the longest, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just used to, bro. I suppress so much shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, I ain't even from this country. Where you from, nigga? I'm from Africa. Oh, damn. I was born there. I came here when I was six years old. Damn. That was the last time I seen my mama or my daddy. You know what I'm saying? And they, I, yeah, they, they, they both- They sent you over here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For but, better? For better. But you know what I'm saying? Since I've been here, they both passed. My mama passed <laughs> when I was in prison. My yeah. old man passed like uh, a year or so ago, the day after Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You, you went out there? Nah, nah, I ain't never been back. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? So imagine- me so you don't really got no family, period. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got like an uncle and an aunt out here, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. But that's it. So I've been navigating this shit by myself, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, you know, I just used to, I didn't know that I was an orphan. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know like, I was just living, nigga. No, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like I was just surviving. But in hindsight, I, I never thought like to me, I used to hear about niggas having daddy issues and you know what I'm saying? Like, man, my dad wasn't there. And I used to be like, man, nigga, you weak. You know what I'm saying? I suppressed all that shit. Nah, but sure as you. I got older, I realized like, man, bro, that shit really played a major part. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, I didn't have no structure on what a man should be, what a father should be, like none of that shit. So even when I start, when I became a father, bro, I was failing like a motherfucker at first because I ain't have no... You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even gonna lie, you weren't failing, nigga, you were learning. Yeah, I, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Because even still, I, I don't mean to cut y'all, but nah, you like, good. bro, ain't no, ain't no book on this shit. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you gonna still make mistakes because first of all, you done had a whole human being yeah. that's got his own fucking mind 
own emotions, own everything. Thing. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So it's like the the talk about what you talk about, like with, with my pops, bro. Like growing up, I never, you know, yeah, I want your ass here, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. like, I don't know, like I used to love, I don't know why, bro. It's just me, I guess. I used to love this nigga so much like that. I didn't care. Like I just when he do show up, I I'm, fuck I'm it here. Yeah. When he gone, it's like, damn, this nigga gone, but I ain't really, it's just like, it was normal to me, it was kind of normal because I knew he was going to pop up and leave type shit. Yeah. He going to be here for a little bit, then his dad going to be gone somewhere, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I ain't going to see him. Then he going to pop up and I'm going to see him, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie, I ain't, we ain't never, like, my old man, like that nigga, he ain't never... I ain't, I, don't, I ain't never shit. I don't never remember doing nothing with this nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he even came and got me before, and I remember going to the spot, but he a mechanic. Yeah. So, shit, nigga, when I, when I <laughs> with him, he working on fucking cars all day, you know, for real talk. Yeah. Then, then he working on cars all day. Then, like I say, no cow, he smoke too. So, yeah. shit, if he ain't working on the car, he smoking. And then, shit, nigga, I might be running around that bitch. I got, I got a little brother and shit. I used to like to be with them and shit on my... Older sister and brother, like, I used to want to fuck with them and shit like that. So I used to always want to go over there and fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But other than that, like, I can't, ain't got no memories of that nigga teaching me nothing or doing nothing or none of that type shit. You know what I'm saying? But when I got older, like, the type of person I am is, like, I understand, fam, yeah. that I can't fault you. Nigga, I ain't perfect. Yeah. Then, nigga, to be honest, I ain't dealt. I don't know your life, my nigga. I don't know what you dealt with. I don't know what type of person my mama was when y'all was. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. which I do know what type of my person my mama was. My mama really ain't give a fuck though. You know what I'm saying? Because to be honest, like I say, that wasn't even really supposed to happen like that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I, I end up getting here. I guess she wasn't having no abortion. And shit, nigga, I'm here. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. shit, nigga, she had me. She, she, like, I ain't gonna never say she was like on no bum shit with a nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like I say, she was just gonna do the bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it could have been more done, though. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel anyway. Yeah. But, like, I was finna say, the point I was making was, I don't know their struggles. Like, motherfuckers were smoking crack in their air because it was cool to do it. Yeah. Like, how we pop Pop perks and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that shit took a different toll on them folks. You feel what I'm saying? So, nigga, I ain't never been addicted to crack, fam. So, I don't know what y'all was what going through was. or what y'all struggle was. So, nigga, I don't blame you, my nigga. But I thank you because I'm here, though. Yeah. And I'm me, nigga. So, nigga, I appreciate you. Nigga, you try to do better, nigga. Right now, they call, they check on me. Yeah. If he want to see my uh, his grandkids, he fuck with all his grandkids. You know what I'm saying? So... Shit, nigga, I can't blame you, nigga. I love you, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. nigga, I'm here. Yeah. And, nigga, I know that I'm a, with my little nigga, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure he don't feel that void of, damn, I want my daddy to come back or my daddy just, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. ain't going to feel how I felt in that situation. Because, yeah. shit, I'm going to be there, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, ain't no bitch going to make me not be there. Ain't no nothing going to not make me be there for mine, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And you know, it's a, it's a, people don't really understand this, man, but it's a lot of niggas that, I know a lot of niggas that grew up with their daddy and all that shit, man, mm -hmm. and they horrible fathers. Nah, they, no nah, nah, for real though, like, nigga, you had the example and everything, you just suck as a as father. A father. But it's niggas you're like a bullshit us. bullshit-ass nigga, bro. Yeah, but That's all it is, it gotta be in you and not on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's niggas like, like us that didn't grow up with. You know what I'm saying? Like that that structure like everybody have. You know what I'm saying? And we be the ones that's actually, you see, bro, I ain't lying. You go to a game, it's niggas like us. Nah, no, you know what I'm saying? Niggas that done left the spot. You can tell. You you looking in the stand and, oh, yeah, can't folk. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga, he wanted him, but he out here for his daughter. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be. The, shit like that don't get recognized, though. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for shit, sure. It like need I, to, though. Like, man, look, let's touch on this. When, mm -hmm. when did you start messing with music? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been messing with music uh, since I was about like eight, nine years old type shit. Like, I was just telling a nigga the other day, because my pop, well, it was his cousin. He was like, nigga, my cousin, Kenny G. But 
Nigga, I'm like, nigga, the best thing happened to me because I'm I love this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm yeah. passionate about it. So like, nigga, I never forget that shit. I was going to Thompson Elementary, we was staying at Cannon Park. Nigga, I walked in the house, nigga, them niggas was in that bitch recording. I never forget this shit. Me and my cousin shared a room. Yeah. So when I walked in that bitch, him and Kenny G was recording, nigga, they got two radios. You know, one radio for the beat. And the other one the <laughs> The record. The record. You fucking right. <laughs> Y'all on the tape deck. You know it. Stop fucking playing with me, nigga. You know it. Yeah, with the karaoke so, machine. Exactly, oh, Michael Paul. Exactly. Yeah. So, boom. So, nigga, I walk in that bitch, the nigga getting it. Now, these niggas is, and it's crazy because I really never, I knew my cousin would be fucking with it, but I never seen him woo. So, when I walked in that motherfucker, I'm like, shit, can I try it? And nigga, like, hell yeah. Nigga, winning that bitch, nigga, it had to be the worst shit ever in the world. <laughs> but, nigga, I'm telling you, bro. Hey, look, them niggas. <laughs> but, like I said, I ain't number like seven, eight years old. Yeah. Them niggas, like, man, yeah, nigga, that shit all that. <laughs> and, like, nigga, the reaction they gave me, Cause really, I just I don't remember what the fuck I said or none of that. Yeah. I just know I was cussing my ass off, <laughs> and I just knew that was my like rapping is cut like this is my time I can cuss. But I just said a whole bunch of like bitch hoe ass nigga. It just saying shit. You feel me? I'm like this is my time I can cuss right now. You feel me? Man, that nigga hyped me up, but that was the best shit they could have did. Yeah. Because nigga, I'm like, oh, this shit, that shit was hard. <laughs> Now I'm it's doing on. it. It's on. I'm yeah. doing it now. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't no super basketball player or no football player, none of that. And like I say, my uh my cousin, but I ain't gonna lie, I looked up to this nigga. Like this nigga track, baseball, basketball, football, all the bitches fuck with this nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, so man, can't folks say this shit long. <laughs> nigga, this shit long. Nigga yeah. can't no nigga in the world tell me this shit ain't that. Yeah. And nigga, I just went from now. Nigga going to Celebration Station with them niggas. Little nigga, these niggas beating on the goddamn uh, trash can, yeah. freestyling. Nigga, I go in that bitch, I'm rapping. Yeah. I'm rapping my motherfucking ass off. I'm just, they, and then it's amazing niggas, because they like this little nigga in this hoe going. You feel what I'm saying? I remember this nigga, uh, it's crazy. There was a nigga talking about they was going to sign me and shit. But I say, I was, uh, I was uh we was standing uh motherfucking uh on North Barrow. So Celebrate Station and shit was right there on yeah. uh Kirk and I. Yeah. Man, nigga come to my mama high time, they gonna sign me and shit. <laughs> These niggas used to be beefing with Keati back in the game and yeah. shit. Nigga named Boss or some shit. Like I remember that shit like it was yesterday, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, like that's the best shit the nigga could have did for me, was told me I was hard. Yeah. And shit, nigga, I ain't never look back. But look, when when did you for yourself know like, nigga, I'm cause I ain't gonna lie, bro, you hard. Nah. You, fire, George, nah. black ass. That nigga black hard. Man, black, stop playing, nigga. Go on, go on give us something. Oh, God. Go on nigga, give us something, man. Hard. It's a new year, bro. But when did you know like, yeah, nigga, I'm hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I always felt like that. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like I always felt like that. But it was one time a nigga got on my road though. You feel me? And that made me really sharpen my shit up. Like at that moment, like like I was watching that nigga Shakir Stevenson and he was like, nigga, I thought I was the shit. And then he was like, nigga, I spoiled with Bud. And that nigga beat my ass and I walked home. I mean, I went home the whole time that shit was on my fucking mind. You feel what I'm saying? And it was like that nigga, I was in the pen. And like, nigga, they got me on Ellis unit. Yeah. And I'm the youngest nigga on the camp, bro. I'm the youngest nigga on the unit, fool. So boom. All these old niggas and shit, they liking this shit because yeah. nigga. It's fresh and these niggas is old, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I really think I'm the hardest shit going. Yeah. But nigga, man, 
it was a little nigga called Chain. I never remember. I never forget this shit. His name Freaky D from the Southwest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was a BD nigga. So, nigga, this nigga here, boom, they call me. They come get me out of my bunk. Yeah. And like, man, TG, nigga, come on. It's a nigga in this hoe like that. Like, nigga, come on. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. So I'm like, nigga, come on. Let's go. Yeah. So I get in that motherfucker. I hit this nigga. He going with another nigga. Yeah. Oh, like this nigga. Oh, man. Oh, my mom was like, yeah. this nigga like that, though. I ain't even gonna cap because he, I don't even know what a, the way this nigga sound, though. You a swear to God, the nigga from New York. Yeah. Because this nigga with these bars and these punchlines and yeah. these metaphors and shit, this nigga hard, like, oh, battle rapping ass nigga, yeah. but, but rhyme, like, a <laughs> song, though. So. Me, I'm like, man, nigga, I'm, nigga, it's me though. Like, yeah. nigga, I go in there. So, boom, he go, the nigga go, I go. The homie get ran off. Yeah. Boom, he got you out the thing. He ain't so got did enough, y'all too. It ain't got enough ammunition. <laughs> How I figure out the nigga from the city, the nigga say some shit about like, man, man, I can't remember. The nigga say some shit like, nigga, I get on my rosewood with my screwdriver type shit and. I say, oh, that's a no size. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the screwdriver. And I say, oh, but nigga, I'm going. We going, though. I ain't letting up. I'm like, that nigga got me fucked up. I'm yeah. still going. But like, when we finished, though, he like, nah, you hard, little bro. Because he was still a little older than me. But yeah. I'm like, just got on God, my ass. Yeah, that nigga died, right? nigga, oh. This nigga, I ain't like everybody with this yeah. nigga saying shit, nigga. Ooh, yeah. ooh, you know, he's like, damn, this nigga got me. But that made me like, I, I got to step my metaphor and my balls up. I can't just be simple because it's niggas on all different type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going in. And then he was like, hey, bro, I want you to do this song with me. He gave me the hook yeah. to that bitch. So I'm like, all right, bet I'm finna go right to that hoe. So I'm like, I ain't finna let this nigga got me <laughs> yeah. fucked up. Because nigga, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. Like, I just ain't rapping like that. Because nigga, I, I was more on some zero Jeezy shit. Yeah. But if you like, want to take it there, we can, though. Yeah, yeah, so because I love Lil Wayne now. Yeah. You feel me? Don't get me twisted. So I'm like, I right, bet. And that nigga just made me like, I, right, I'm going to step my shit up. Yeah. And shout out to that nigga because that nigga made me step my shit up. Yeah. But like, after that, like, nigga, I just, after that shit with him yeah. and going back and forth with it, because like, that nigga... After this, like I did, like I said, I wrote the verse for the little hook he had. Yeah. And now, nigga, we on the unit together. We sparring. Yeah. We going with Getting this sharper shit. Getting sharper and sharper. Yeah. On God, like, nigga, let's go. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why, like, I ain't gonna lie, one of my partners and shit, them niggas be, we be having our little group chat, them niggas, because they hear Trap God. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So they hear dope, 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 street, street, street. I'm like, nigga. I can rap, fam. Yeah. Like, nigga, I will punch line and metaphor your <laughs> ass too. Like, but that ain't what I, I mean, I, I, I'm I, like, I don't feel like Wayne, but you know how Wayne, like, I didn't did, nigga, he was, when you gotta think about it, nigga, he was a young nigga. He yeah. did all the little street shit, nigga, this nigga did RB, pop shit. It's like, yeah. nigga, I done did that. Right now, I'm doing this, so this is what I'm mastering. And then this is, this is, like, I'm more on some, I don't give a I real life, man. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about like that punchline metaphor shit. That shit was for it was a it was an era for that. Yeah. Right now, niggas niggas want to catch chill bumps. They want to feel that. Niggas want to feel this shit. I don't give a fuck about no punchlines. Like when I just did the uh song with George. Yeah. Like nigga, I'm like nigga, my mama was a fiend. How the fuck you think I know clean? Like that nigga was like, what the fuck, like. Like now nah, for shit show like out of it, nigga, this is real life. Yeah. Nigga, it's you know how many niggas mama was fiends? Nigga, my mama was a fiend and my mom and my mama was a gangster at that. So like you ain't selling her no bad dope. Yeah. You ain't doing that. Yeah. Shit, take your shit. Yeah. In real life. Yeah. Like, you ain't doing that. 
How you did that? All right, babe. You know, I get my check on the first. Give me a shot for a hundred. Man, that's tough. Yeah. And you ain't gonna, she can, well, what you wanna do about that? Yeah. She ain't, she with all the shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, shit, like, it's just certain shit, man. You, I wanna make a nigga feel this shit. Yeah. I ain't lying about this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't give a fuck about no punchlines and metaphors right now. So, and, a nigga can't beat me at telling my story, so that's how I know I'm the truth. Yeah. Nigga, this is my life. How the fuck you gonna I rap me rapping my life? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You can't do that. Yeah. You nigga, can't even true, tell the story, man. Yeah, nigga, this is a true story. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what you saying. Yeah. Nigga, your shit ain't harder than this. Man, look, let me ask you this. What you think about the state of music right now? With you know what I'm saying, with all these young niggas. See, some niggas say <laughs> Man, they rap and let them make their money and all this other stuff, right? Bro, if you ain't no Drake, yeah, no Future, you know what I'm saying? These young niggas ain't really making money like that. You know what I'm saying? And all they talking about is killing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From from your point of view, from you being active, what you what you think about the state of rap right now? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't say they not getting no money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's just, it's a, t it's, it's just, it's history repeats, right? Yeah. That nigga Easy E them wasn't talking about selling no dope and no shit like that, man. Yeah. Even though they talking about the little politics shit, but they were talking about gangster shit. shit yeah. Niggas getting robbed with, 8K, they, they was game bangers, bro. So yeah. it was gangster shit. It was gangster shit, which it ain't as vivid as niggas talking about it now, but that's the same shit. What the fuck you think niggas talking about? What you think they was doing? Taking a picture with these motherfucking Uzis and shit. What you think these, what, these, what them Uzis was for? These folks from California, they did drive-bys with these motherfuckers. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? They were killing with these motherfuckers. These guns, them guns weren't for show. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, boom, they left. Niggas was trapping. Dope bought out the game. You had everybody from the Pimp C, you know, they, uh, you, you can get a bizzard yeah. to Jeezy, to the Young Bucks, to Rick Rosses, to the T.I.s, to everybody was dope. Yeah. She you, went to, you, you got to think about the era when it went to, Nigga, I ain't gonna fight you, young nigga. I put your motherfucking hands on me, I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. So, are you gonna shoot me? Okay, I'm gonna shoot your ass too. So, we ain't fighting? Okay. Shit, motherfuckers act like we ain't, or niggas in the, we didn't start that. If we really think about it. Yeah, we did. Nigga, we started that. Yeah. Because the first thing wasn't even to touch me, bro. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna be, you know what I'm saying? So, guess what they made a young nigga say? Oh, okay, bad. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's yeah. what you on. That's what I'm on. So get what he gonna tell the next nigga. Nigga, nah, I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> it is what it is. So them niggas drilling though. Yeah. But that shit ain't. I mean, eventually, guess what? It's gonna end up coming back to you. Got the Billy Gang, Cushion niggas, you Trap Boy, Freddy's. You got the uh, what's the little nigga, the, the uh, Rylos. You got yeah. the. Eventually it's gonna come back, Boston Joe. You gonna eventually it's gonna come back. Me, shit. Eventually it's gonna come back around to because niggas gonna get tired of all right down. Everybody killing. Ain't nobody getting no money. Man, I think that's the point where people are right now. Anyway. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, niggas finna, tired of that shit. Bro. It's finna switch back. You know what I'm saying? It's finna switch back to uh, niggas. Man, how you got the money now, fool? You yeah. know what I'm saying? God yeah. damn it. Man, having this shit game. Yeah. George. My guy. Pony. Mm -hmm. Uh who who else? Uh you. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. There's a lot of motherfuckers in that shit. Champ. Yeah. There's a lot of motherfuckers, bro. He had have to tell you about that shit. You How y'all put that together though? Nah, he put George it together. Did? That's his shit. Yeah. I'm just a part of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And y'all working on something right now? Yeah, Street Verified. Street Verified. Mm -hmm. How they come about? Man, to be honest, bro, I met George through my RIP, my nigga Papa Roach, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, boom, like I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I used to hit that nigga like shit, nigga, what's up, nigga, I wanna work, cause bro had introduced us. I used to tell that nigga, I'm like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, at first, like, I don't know a nigga's schedule, and I ain't want a nigga to seem like, 
I fuck with that nigga though. We got a, a strong relationship, but in the beginning, I'm like, shit, I used to hit him. They're like, shit, I pay you, homie, or whatever. He like, nah, I ain't about no bread, bro. Just about when time. I get, well, yeah, when I get around to it, nigga, we gonna fuck around. Yeah. So boom, we end up. He end up calling me to the studio and shit. We did a few tracks and the whole that shit. So we just we end up building a bond. Then he end up dropping his shit, blow talk and shit like that. Then. He just hit me and was like, man, I'm putting it, I wanna put this tape together called Street Verified with niggas from all these session sections and you know, the streets, bro. Whoop you had at the time you had Casey out of Fourth Ward, South Park Trap out of South Park, uh shit, me and Chuck out the garden, shit, um uh, him and Pony out of Greenpoint, uh who else is on that bitch? I ain't trying to forget nobody, bro. I'm, I'm wasted, y'all. I don't. <laughs> so, uh, Ray Face, no matter Acres home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, shit, I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? He like, shit, nigga, you strong. Your session, you got your, ooh, whoop, these niggas got their movements. Shit, let's put this shit together. And shit, that's how that shit came about. And that shit really was a fucking classic. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. It, it was I appreciate hard. that nigga for doing that because... He shared his platform with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers got reaching out to me, like DJs from Atlanta. Shout out my nigga DJ Blue. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers, like, motherfuckers got to tapping in. I started seeing it, like, even when the first time, like, how it happened was, though, even before that, that nigga reposted my shit. Yeah. I had, uh, freestyled on that, uh, what the fuck that shit is? What's the little the little Mexican that whatever the fuck it race she is? Uh I just know my shit. Whippy Kang, Whippy Kang, Whippy Kang. I can't think uh, of the uh Louis Vuitton. Nah, Louis. that's that new shit. Uh it was uh Damn, bro, uh so, so I can't, uh, my song yeah. is all this song in my head, but yeah. I had redid a nigga shit. Yeah. I just whip it can, 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 2754, a whole thing. Like, I was just on that bitch going off. Yeah. And that nigga reposted that bitch. And, like, niggas got to tap it in like a motherfucker. Yeah. And I was like, that's love. And then he put me on that album and that shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit was love. You man, know what I'm saying? Niggas don't got to do that type of shit. Man, I ain't going to lie, bro. George, one of the niggas in the city that I, I feel like don't get the just do, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I remember when I first met that nigga, man, he had a... Hold on one second. What's up, baby? Yeah, I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm going to call you right back. All right. Got to do that. <laughs> nah, but, just, uh... <laughs> nah, but uh, I remember that nigga when I first met him. They had AMG. He had a uh, Marcus Manchild. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and to see where that nigga came from now, you know what I'm saying? Like he he was putting up his own money. Nah, but shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that nigga, that nigga really didn't did some shit in the city, man. As far as on the independent level, yeah. That that I feel like he don't get credit for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, cause he a shit show. Yeah. Even when he uh, cause shit, he had got killer too. You know yeah, what yeah. Shit, that nigga, I ain't gonna lie though, but see at the end of the day though. Like we we was just talking about that before the cameras was on. Like yeah. real niggas, bro, the shit we go through. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, man, that nigga a genuine nigga I fuck with cause, you feel what I'm saying? So like, I don't know what God got planned for him, but he gonna get his just dude. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Because he got a good heart. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, that shit ain't gonna go unnoticed. You feel what I'm saying? Like nigga, and that's real life. Like nigga, you reap what you sow, the universe ain't gonna you know what I'm saying? It might not, it, see for us, it might look like it's gonna take it longer. Yeah. And it, it do though, you feel what I'm saying? Because shit, nigga, God ain't, when they say God give his motherfucking to the strongest soldiers, yeah. and we the strongest motherfuckers, it might look all glimmer and glamour for the motherfuckers in the spotlight right now, but shit, nigga, we gonna get it for shit show. Yeah. Man, you, what's your, I know you got a relationship with God. Yeah, for shit show. Where, who, who, who instilled that in you? You ain't? Nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I think uh, I think that shit was just in me from shit since birth, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just like, and man, I'm capped though. It ain't even that, bro. Boom. I always was a religious nigga, bro. Kinda. 
because my uncle was a preacher and shit. I used to look up to this nigga. I wanted to be a preacher. Woo, woo, woo. But boom, I'm in the streets. What made me, I went to jail, bro. I was in BBRC, my nigga. And the motherfuckers told me, like, my mama, bro, my mama got fucking, she had had a stroke before, so she paralyzed, like, in one side. They told her she wasn't going to never walk again, but she walked. Yeah. So, like, when she got fucking diabetes, fucking congestive heart failure, she got a lot of shit wrong with a high blood pressure. So, like, when I went to jail that time, you got to do a 30-day assessment, like, before you even. So, they like, nigga, you can't have no contact with the world. Yeah. Ain't no letters, ain't no phone calls, ain't none of that shit. And that's the first time that shit ever happened to me. Like, I can't talk to my mama yeah. or nobody for 30 days. Like, man, that shit crazy. So, long story short, I'm in, boom, I'm in, like I say, I'm in uh, processing this shit, doing what I'm doing. And like, man, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if it was like a week. I wasn't even in that motherfucker that long. And that shit was fucking with me, bro, because yeah. I'm like, man, anything can be happening to my mama, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I remember I was in my PA, nigga. I'm under my motherfucking cover, bro. I'm crying. I'm praying like a motherfucker, bro. I'm praying. I'm like, God, nah, I swear to God, bro. Like, I need to see my mama, bro. Like, I, nigga, whatever, nigga, I ain't never doing this shit again, nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I lied, but he knew my heart was genuine. But that's when he showed me. You see what I'm saying? Like, Nigga, I'm going to show you I'm real, though. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, boom. Nigga, I don't, it was like the next day, that next day, or a couple days later, bro. i never forget this shit. Nigga, we in the motherfucker. It was, I don't, like, I think it was Friday or something. Because at the school, we going to the movie room, and everybody watch movies and shit. So we in that motherfucker watching movie, my motherfucking case breaker, Miss Schumacher. i never forget that lady. Oh, God. So, boom. A nigga came in that motherfucker, I'm in that motherfucker watching TV, and she called my name. She was like, Bree. I'm like, I'm like damn, what the fuck? I ain't, like, I ain't did None. shit. Yeah. yeah, like, so boom, I get her, we walking, go down the hall, boom, make her up, right? Her office was to the left, we go in that motherfucker. Nigga, I open that door, nigga, my mama was sitting in that hole. Yeah. I say, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. And I ain't even supposed to see this lady, have no contact with this lady. And the crazy thing is, nigga, she let her sign my motherfucking release papers. I don't even do the whole motherfucking 30 days. Nigga, I'm supposed to do 30 days. That's just processing. Yeah. To see if I'm finna go to BBH or I'm finna go to TYC or I'm finna go to boot camp. Yeah. Because I done fucked up. Yeah. Nigga, my mama let her sign my motherfucking release papers, nigga. I'm in the office, I see my mama, I'm like, man, this shit fucking with me, bro. Yeah. I'm like, ma, you just don't know. Like, I just, I just go. prayed for this. I just yeah. prayed for this shit. Like, yeah. on God. Like, and the lady tell me, she was like, nigga, you special, fam. You don't supposed to be up in here. Mm. Get your ass out and do what the fuck you need to do, bro. Yeah. And I, man, you know, nigga, fucked up again, <laughs> but like, right then and there, though, yeah. he showed me, bro. That he was him. Like, nigga, you asked for that, I'm gonna do that. I fucked up. He sucked my ass back. Boom, get your ass on, though. Yeah. Cause you, cause you lied, nigga. You, <laughs> you played with me. You yeah. played with me. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. he showed me. And like, I ain't no, I don't got no religion. I don't care about no Christians, no Muslims, no none that of that shit. Yeah. You feel I what I'm saying? I believe in God. Yes, bro. Cause religion is division to me. Yeah. Like, listen, bro, he showed me him. He ain't say, be this, be that. This. Yeah, no, man. Nigga. Come on, now you talking. You feel me, yeah. nigga? I'm there. And if you don't do what I say, I got you. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a nigga like that. I believe that, bro. I, I take the good with the bad, the ups with the downs. I know the choices I make. I know the consequences that come with the choices I make. And I stand on everything I believe in, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's just the nigga I am. And a nigga can't, like, if you if you that type of nigga, you will understand. And can't nobody in the world change your mind frame. Yeah. Because, shit, nigga, that's what's going to guide it. 
just that for shit show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, look, you know, we was talking before mm -hmm. we jumped on here, and you was talking about, you know, a little situation yeah. going on with you right now. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm saying? Man, shit my ass down a little bit, man. Yeah. You want to talk about that, man? Because, you know, I don't want the folks to look up, man, where Wi Fi? You know what I'm saying? So Nah, for shit show. Yeah. Man, I don't care, bro. We talk about that shit I'm on over with now, yeah. so it ain't no big deal. Yeah. But I uh I'm fighting the guy. I've been fighting I've been fighting this motherfucker for like two years. They was trying to give me a fucking trafficking charge, but uh they dropped that shit down to a simple but they want me to plea out for a simple position. So shit. I'm like, I ain't gonna play with them folks, I'm gonna go on. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, my name good. We ain't taking nobody with us. We ain't, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We ain't doing none of that. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We gonna stand on that shit. Or do that shit like a G. Come back and get to it. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Shit show. So, you know what I'm saying? If if y'all if y'all find out he gone, man, support. Nah, for shit You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, we don't. don't get all that, God damn it. Yeah, don't be with that fake ass shit. Yeah, don't oh, be we, out, we, of, we love out you. of mind. Yeah, we love you while you out here, you know what I'm saying? And when a nigga go, they don't know you no more. They just, they, they remember you when you come back, though. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For shit, sure. Man. Man. But see, I ain't gonna lie. Even with that, though, God, like, that's gonna show me. Yeah. Who I need to deal with, who I don't need to deal with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers here for a season, some motherfuckers here for a reason. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? If you here for a reason, then I'ma know. Because shit, I'm me. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. I, I I take the like I just said, I take the good with the bad, the us with the downs. You can't have left without right, in without out. Yeah. Straight like that. So like I don't cry about shit, I ain't whining about no shit, like it's all lessons in it. It could have been worse. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I know niggas got hung, you feel what I'm saying, for less. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So shit, nigga, I can't even complain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, if niggas fall off, they was they was meant to fall off because like they say, when God finna bless you, he don't need certain motherfuckers around you because them blessings ain't for them. Fuck everybody. Oh God. Man, look, before we get out of here, man, y'all working on another tape. Yeah, for sure, sure. Man, who who uh shout out fire. Yeah, shout out guy. Black, shout out my George. Guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what can we expect on that project, man? Man, some real shit. I ain't gonna lie, listen, bro. Y'all gotta be in a studio session. You know, there's a lot of, of that talk talk going on. So it's like, nigga, nigga, we be in that bitch. It's like joining Kobe and LeBron yeah. or something in the gym. Y'all in there like, sparring. Man, you got to know. You know, <laughs> goddamn, I'm coming out that bitch like, y'all with me. That shit be lying though. We we got some good shit though. We been that bitch cooking for shit show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On this one, it's uh my nigga BP all spill. We got South Park Trap on that motherfucker, Ray Face on that motherfucker, Black Fire, Killer Me, Pony, and Joy so far. Yeah. So yeah, that motherfucker we been we been in that bitch cooking for shit show. Yeah. We shot a video the other night and everything. That's what's up, man. Before we get out of here, man, mm -hmm. anything you want to say to the people that's been supporting you, you know what I'm saying, family members, friends, you know, or anybody that, you know, that might be watching this, man. Man, shit, man, I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all, and just know I wouldn't be doing this shit if it wasn't for y'all. Like, that nigga Jesus said this shit in that song where he say, man, I love it when a nigga run up to me and tell me I'm the realest nigga. Like, you know, at first... You know, you think a nigga just on the record popping shit. Now that shit yeah. real. When a nigga run up to you and be like, hey, bro, you the realest nigga. Yeah. I was in the club, my nigga Red the other night, or last night. He like, bitch, you next to blow, you next, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, like, I'm telling you, nigga, like, nigga, y'all just don't know, like, that shit motivate me when I pull up on a nigga and a nigga, like, hey, boy, I just, you got the hardest rap economics, like, like, niggas watching. Yeah. Like, nah, I appreciate you, homie. Like, Y'all don't know, like, that shit, that shit, like, hey, nah, I appreciate you, nigga, because you don't know. I don't know that a nigga just waking up, like, I'm finna put that Wi-Fi on. Yeah. Like, a nigga finna wake up and say, I'm finna jam Lil Wayne. It's niggas waking up saying, I'm finna put that Wi-Fi on, bro. 
Yeah. Like, nigga, I you, 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 you the soundtrack to their life, bro. Exactly. Whether you realize it or not. And I appreciate y'all and y'all the motherfuckers who I do it for. I don't do it for nobody else but y'all. And I really mean that. You feel what I'm saying? Because some motherfuckers don't understand it, but the motherfuckers who understand it, nigga, this shit for y'all. The motherfuckers who going through it, this shit for y'all. Yeah. You feel me? The shit show. Oh, God. Yeah. Man, what drop, drop your uh your Instagram and all of that, man, so they can follow, man. Man, strict grind Wi-Fi. It's strict grind underscore W Y underscore F Y. I got a Facebook and all that other shit. I'm gonna give y'all that shit, but no cap. I don't be on that shit. I only be on Instagram. <laughs> My Facebook and why is because if y'all got Instagram, y'all already know. You can hit the fucking button and it's up and it's gonna be shit. I don't be on that other shit. But my Facebook is Shady Lane. You know what I'm saying? My uh Twitter or X now is YNRSG. And I don't even know my fucking Snapchat. I made that bitch and ain't never been on that hoe. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. But hey, that Instagram, strict grind, Wi Fi. That strict grind. Motherfuckers be saying street grind. No strict grind. Wi Fi. Yeah. Yeah. Man, with that being said, bro, I appreciate you for coming. Man, I appreciate they you. They don't even know. Me. Like we it's late night with us. You know oh, what I'm saying? It's like this ain't early morning. We in here thugging late, man. Oh god. But I appreciate you. Man. Goddamn Casamigo in this week. <laughs> but I appreciate you for coming, man. Nah, you I know appreciate what I'm you for having me, bro, for yeah. shit show. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie, like I told you, bro, no cap. I ain't fucking Listen, I ain't say I now only got fuck well that's a lot. I got twelve I'm gonna fuck what a nigga say. Yeah. Got twelve or three, goddamn it. You yeah. feel me? But man, motherfuckers be following a nigga, bro, and woo woo. And like I say, nigga, I be seeing your shit and that be the really shit to me, bro. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And I didn't even know that I was talking to you because like I say you ain't got your and I never went to look on the page. Yeah. So when I uh Today I'm like, man, I mean, nigga, I'm just puffing a, I'm really hot. Like, I'm finna just pull up on them. I don't know what the fuck I'm pulling up on. I mean, I'm tripping, nigga. Yeah. Because the nigga play, then I seen the first picture. I'm like, oh, them niggas be fucking with that nigga. I be fucking with. Yeah. I like that nigga posting shit. Yeah. Then I'm like, damn, this all this nigga. This, is this this cup? Damn, this this nigga, bro. I'm tripping. I'm like, I fuck with you, bro. For shit, man, I appreciate it, man. You be saying some real shit, bro. Like niggas need to hear that shit. Man, I appreciate the shit it, man. you say niggas need to hear, bro. Bro, for shit show. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, bro, I've really been out here. Nah, for shit show. Since bro, it's crazy. You, by, uh, uh, black. We all thirteen. Yeah. Different parts of the world and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? But at 13, it's something about that 13. We out here. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? But I've been trying to figure shit out, man. And one thing that I realized, when, when you out here trying to figure it out and you ain't got the right direction, you misguided. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Just imagine when you first got the pack. You fucking the money off. You know what I'm saying? You really don't understand what the business is. But when you get... Yeah, when you, the only when you, thing you wanted to do is, nigga, I want some shoes and feed myself. Yeah. As long as I can do that. Because that's all you think. You at school. School is a fashion show, fam. Yeah. Niggas is dressing and press the hoes and woo, woo, woo. Especially when you fresh out of elementary and shit. So, nigga, as long as I can get me some shoes and some clothes and feed myself, I'm good. Yeah. Nigga not telling you, like... Man, put up some money for a lawyer. Exactly. Put up some money for commissary. So, and, so and no, not even <coughs> only that. That's for shit show first yeah. and foremost because we know what we're doing. Yeah. Second of all, nigga, you thirteen hustling right now. Save some money so, nigga, you can buy some real estate. Yeah. Nigga, so by the time you get, if you start hustling at thirteen, and Lord forbid you get a ten year run. Nigga, by the time you 23, boy, you had enough money to have property and everything. You ain't never got to touch no dope again in your motherfucking life. Yeah. But we, it's the blind leading the blind. I, like, I, I said that in one of my songs. Like, nigga, we had big homies, but these niggas wanted to gang bang and do this dumb shit that we was they doing. They wasn't big homies. Exactly. See, see, see look, this is... Exactly, but we thought they was. Now, now check this out. You see, you see how you talking about how I speak the way I speak? Mm -hmm. We didn't have big homies. Right? But I know this for a fact because I know niggas that fuck with you, that fuck with fire, 
that fuck with George. You know what I'm saying? That before these niggas started fucking with y'all, these niggas was crashing. Nah, for shit. These niggas wasn't moving right. But then you see these niggas now, you know what I'm saying? Like these niggas structure, you know what I'm saying? Some of them businesses fucking with the dogs, you know what I'm saying? Because they got that guidance. Nah, for You know what I'm saying? So all I'm trying to do is, bro, I got the guidance now. I understand. I done been through this shit. Nah, for so sure. So look, whether you, whether you like it or not, man, let me tell you what this shit really is, man. So if you choose to go out here and bump your head, my nigga, that's on that's you. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? But you can't say, oh, man, a nigga ain't, ain't tell, tell me nothing. Me. You know and what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep trying to tell your ass. And, and like I told you before we even start talking, the shit, see, niggas, niggas look at y'all and be like, oh, them niggas hustle. Oh, they talk about hustling, right? But it's more game in the shit that you niggas saying than a lot of this shit they get radio play. Oh, but God. they not going to play y'all because y'all niggas ain't talking about killing. Y'all ain't talking about dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it ain't no niggas telling them these niggas, hey, man, look, grind, get your money and go buy real estate. Nah, but shit show. Bro, go, go do something different with your money. These niggas telling them, hey, man, go get the cube and go, all that shit going to come. Y'all niggas telling them, hey, look, man, do this different. You know what I'm saying? Change the way you 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 doing this street shit. Okay, you want you want to be out here doing it. Cool, I can't knock you for doing it. Yeah, nah. But nigga, have a fucking reason, reason. for doing it. Have a and, and I can respect that. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? I can respect that. That's why I say, man. Like I want to shed light on the on the niggas that's actually making a difference. Fuck what people think on the outside, cause if I man, believe this, like it, I say, man, I ain't gonna lie on me, cut y'all, but yeah, I tell nigga, bro, me going to prison, bro, that shit really. The first time I went, like, that shit really helped me. I was on Ellis unit. If you know, that was a death row unit. Yeah. Like, niggas didn't even understand why I was on there. I told you I was the youngest nigga on the camp. I'm fucking 17. Yeah. Bro, everybody over this motherfucker got 15, 20 years plus. Man, I'm over this bitch with a five. They're like, what the fuck you doing over here? Yeah. But it wasn't, it, it was God. It hey, was to show you. Niggas, to show me, but niggas was you, bro. The shit you saying. That's what they were telling me, you young dumbass nigga. You ain't first of all, fam. They like nigga. What the fuck have you been? You won't even leave Parker Square. Yeah. And guess where you at? Your stupid ass in here with me. But guess what? I done been in Hawaii. I done been in Jamaica. I done been in here. I done been in Miami. I done been in L.A. I done flew my bitch to here. We doing this, even though I'm in here. True enough. Yeah. But what have you done? Nothing. And your stupid ass still in here with me. Yeah. So nigga. If you gonna put your motherfucking life on the line, fam, go get you some motherfucking money and at least make it worth it to you. Yeah. Because nigga, you can't be doing this and don't even never leave Parker Square. You don't even get a chance to enjoy life. Yeah, nigga, because the only thing you wanna do is game bang. Why is you putting limitations on your money? Nigga, it's real nigga everywhere. Nigga, he ain't asked to be from over there. His mama stay over there. He had to be over there. Yeah. You had to be over here. Nigga, if y'all had a choice, I bet y'all would have big picked a big ass motherfucking house somewhere else and not in the projects. Yeah. Y'all ain't had no choice. That's the hand y'all was dealt. He a real nigga, you a real, real nigga. Man. He going through the same shit you going through. Your mama smoke, his mama smoke. His daddy ain't there, your daddy ain't there. Y'all got way more in common. Then you but know. y'all was talking about fuck each other for what? If you a real nigga, he a real nigga, we supposed to link up. Yeah. The fuck is you talking about? I don't give a fuck what color you is. Yeah. You real nigga? I'm a real nigga. Let's figure this shit out and get some more real niggas and do real nigga shit, bro. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shit, you know, it, some niggas get it, some niggas don't. Say, that's why I got niggas on you. The niggas like y'all on here. Nah, but shit, show. Bro, I don't even drink, nigga. You got a nigga out here drinking tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, man, the same shit I'm doing, y'all niggas doing, y'all just doing behind the scenes. Nah, but shit, Y'all pouring into these youngsters, too. It ain't just me. You know what I'm saying? But since niggas don't see this, what y'all doing, come on this platform so I can show the world. Like, bro, it ain't just me. Nah, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got a George out there. You got a Wi-Fi. You got a Pony. You got a, 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 a Fire Fajita. Oh, you know what God. I'm saying? You, 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 got, you got all type of different... Men out here, man, that's like me. They just they just ain't in front of the camera. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, but shit show. But man, bro, I appreciate you. Nah, I appreciate I you. I appreciate bro. you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, this, bro. This, this this been a dope conversation. Nah, I'm glad people got show. to see a different side of Wi Fi. You know what I'm nah, saying? The man, show. not just the rapper, but the man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell yeah.
Man, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. With that being said, man, bro, don't just watch this content and don't support, man. Go like, subscribe, comment, do all that good shit, man. Until next time, we out.